Well, there we have it. The government of Pakistan reads like the front page of the Police Gazette. Something like 60% of the members of Pakistan's federal cabinet are wanted criminals. They are people who are out on bail, oh, so interminable bail, for money laundering and crimes of economic corruption of an Everestian magnitude. No country in the world has ever had a government where the majority of the members were wanted for serious crimes. And yet they live and have lived lives of luxury here in London, rolling around in their stolen property. And as Ken Livingston, the former mayor of London, has pointed out, all with the absolute equanimity and collaboration by the British government, which is forever lecturing others on good governance and on the rule of law and the rules-based order. The truth is, uh, the Pakistani power elite now stands naked. And the big question is, and this is a question for those of us who believe in people's power, can the mass movement of millions of people on the street prevail over a powerful military, filthy rich, and backed by the United States of America? Perhaps the last time that that succeeded was in the Iranian Revolution in the 1979 revolution. If it can be replicated in a Pakistan country so populous, of such strategic importance, and as I said earlier, armed with nuclear weapons, if that popular power can prevail, then this will change everything, and not just in the South Asian region. It's for that reason I nail my color.